that the fourth definition of it is virtue, uprightness, integrity, also fitness, that men are of capacity. You, that's used also for a virtuous woman. She has high she has strength. Also used for an honest or an upright man. You see that last verse right there? That last verse is the same name in the Hebrew. Get a, get a close up on the Hebrew. Can you get a close up on it? The, right there. Bain ha yil. Bain ha yil. Bain ha yil. And next in the English is an honest or upright man from 1 Kings 1 and 52. You see, so they translate it as an honest or upright man, but it's the very same name as this name that we wouldn't be able to see that. So when people lie to you and tell you that the name Hail, as in Hail Salasi, is not a Hebrew name, they don't even understand Hebrew. They don't understand the languages or the relationship of the language. But what we just proved right here is that there's an individual, there's an individual named Bain Hail. You understand? In the scripture, which means son of the power, but can also be interpreted as son of God. Now let's go back to that scripture again, right? Um, poetically, also one last, one last one. Scroll down to five. You see five right there, where it speaks about strength. The strength of a tree is referred to as its higher, spoken poetically of its fruit. So the strength, the power, the higher of a tree is the fruit of a tree. We find that in Joel two and two other princes, such as Obadiah or Obadiah, and we have a book in the Bible, Obadiah. As well as Zachariah or Zachariah, we also have a book of Zachariah or Zachariah. We have Nathaniel, Nathaniel. We have Micaiah. You understand? Or some would even say Micah, perhaps. You understand? These are very much names of ones who were called in some books minor prophets, but there's no minor prophets in that sense. We shouldn't disrespect them like that. You understand? Minor prophets, man that calls them minor prophets. But these are now the, the princes. We went to teach and we already know that at least two to three of these princes have prophetic books that are named after them in the Nabim or the Naveen, the Nabiyat, in the prophets. One is Ob Obadiah, Obadiah, one is Zechariah, one is Micaiah. You know, but you notice the first of these princes is called Bain Hayal. We don't have too much history of Bain Hayal. But now notice what the name Bain Hayal is really saying. Bain Hail, a son of Hail, a son of Ha'el, the true God, is a son of the true God. You see, this is why we can find an Old Testament theology to sonship, the sonship of the Almighty, even in the Old Testament scriptures. It's not a New Testament phenomenon. It's not because they were around Greco's and Romans that they developed this son of God idea. This is already in the scripture. You find it in the Psalms. You find it in the, in the Proverbs. When, when Agur asks the question that he asks, you understand? You find it in Psalm 2, where it says, This day, you understand? You are my son. This day I have begotten you. So, this idea that's a consistent theology, that's why Christ says to Nicodemus when he says about being born again, and he said to Nicodemus that you don't understand this thing, you being a teacher. You being one who's supposed to know the law, know the word, you understand, don't know these things, these are not new teachings, they seem new, you understand, because the people had already followed after something else, they was following after that false um, Babylonian mystery religion that crept up among the Pharisees, and a very good uh, program is the other Israel. You understand? You could find maybe clips of the whole thing on the internet, and if you know how to download it, you can download it, or you can get the more than four-hour DVD that we also offer to give you some background information to who are the Pharisees, how did the Pharisees come about? You understand? How is there another? You understand? So-called Judaism. You understand? Which is not the Judaism that Christ was coming to repair that breach, correct, and teach and preach. You understand? So you can know the differences even to this very day and time. So we have Bain Hayel, which means son of God. You understand? And he doesn't have a book. There's no more that's really talked about in, in the scripture about him. But his name in the Hebrew is found in different ways, such as we find with where it says in, um, I think, First Kings that he's a, a honest and upright man. You understand? So the name Hayel is Hebrew. The name Hail is found in the Hebrew scriptures. You understand? And just as we have Ale attached to names, we have Hail also attached to names. You know what? Now we have in the Ethiopic Hail Selassie. So we just want to prove the fact that 
Hila, Salasa is in the Bible. The name is Hebrew, first of all. Before we can even touch on some of the prophetic scriptures concerning the prophecy of the Son of Man, Lich Teferi, concerning the prophecies of Kedemawi Had Salasi, we first have to lay a foundation in context. Because a lot of people are disorientated and they don't really understand what the Bible is really saying or how to find the truth for themselves. They can go and research and study these things for themselves. So when they pose their questions, they can have an informed question and not an ignorant question, you understand, which at best sometimes deserves an ignorant answer, but to get an informed and enlightened answer, you understand, coming from a studied ha, L, but it's ha, 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 the gurgling sound, ha, L, which is like the Negus, um, the Negusu ha in the Ethiopic, it's not the other ha, because it's like three ha's in the Ethiopic goodness, just like there are at least two ha's in the in the hebraics so we see a, a a link between this right here and we just want to share that with you for your own edification